The rapid heme panel really was developed um, uh, based on our discussions with our clinical colleagues at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute uh, and here at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. Uh, the clinicians were involved with treating blood cancers. Um, we all came uh, to a consensus that we needed a rapid uh, turnaround test that would be highly focused on the genes that are most important in driving the pathogenesis of blood cancers. Uh, and so a group of us came together, uh, myself, uh, Rich Stone, and Dan D'Angelo, who lead the leukemia program at the uh, Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, together with Frank uh, Ku and Mike Kluke, who are in the uh, Center for Advanced Molecular Diagnostics here at Brigham and Women's Hospital, uh, to create a new DNA-based test uh, which relies on uh, relatively new technology that allows us to do a very deep screen across 95 genes, uh, which w are among the most commonly mutated genes in acute leukemias, myelodysplastic syndromes, and myeloproliferative neoplasms. And this allows us to uh, make rapid, uh, refined diagnoses uh, where we can tell the clinicians what uh, the molecular events are that are making uh, the diseases that they're treating uh, in their patients, what's, what's making them tick. So right now we're using it in acute leukemias, which can be either acute lymphoid leukemia or acute myeloid leukemia. And we're also using it broadly in what are called the myeloid neoplasms, which include not only AML, acute myeloid leukemia, but also myelodysplastic syndromes and myeloproliferative uh, neoplasms, um, in part because uh, those, those diseases, uh, myelodysplastic syndrome or MDS and myeloproliferative neoplasms, um, are often, frankly, quite difficult to diagnose with uh, the usual tools. Patients will come in and they'll have abnormal blood counts. Uh, the cause is often unclear. And this test can be very helpful in identifying the molecular lesions uh, that tell us that indeed this is a patient with a myeloid neoplasm, or on the other hand, uh, is a patient who probably doesn't have a neoplasm, where the, the clinicians have to go and look for another cause uh, for their abnormal blood counts. Uh, the test, uh, based on our experience so far, uh, is probably done as easily on peripheral blood as it is on bone marrow. So uh, in, most, in most cases, uh, we simply draw a tube of blood from the patient. Uh, the blood is then sent to the Center for Advanced Molecular Diagnos Diagnosis, where uh, we process the, um, the blood cells into DNA. Uh, and then over a period of about a day, there's a series of reactions that take place that prepare the DNA for sequencing. It then goes on a special sequencing instrument called a MySeq instrument, uh, which uh, overnight, uh, will generate uh, the sequence reads, and then we have to look at the data, uh, sit down, and uh, identify the sequence variants, and also make a decision about whether the sequence variants that we see, uh, whether they're meaningful, whether they're actually pathogenic and likely to be causing uh, the uh, disease uh, in the patient. By way of comparison, before this test was available, uh, we were doing single gene testing as send outs to outside laboratories that offered tests for individual genes that are in the panel. And the turnaround time for those individual genes uh, would be as much as two to three weeks. Uh, and moreover, the expense for a single gene test as a send out was greater than the expense for the 95 gene panel done in house. So we can we can provide much deeper information across uh, a much larger number of genes uh, in less time at a fraction of the original cost. I think the most dramatic change in outcome is we're hopeful that it will enable patients uh, with, for example, acute leukemia who have failed other kinds of therapies uh, to very quickly be uh, placed on appropriate clinical trials with targeted agents. Uh, so for example, um, IDH1 and IDH2 are two genes uh, that are tested in the rapid heme panel uh, for which there are uh, new drugs that are available. And there's uh, emerging data that uh, these uh, agents, these agents that target 
uh, these two mutated genes. They, they only work in acute myeloid leukemias that have mutations in IDH1 or IDH2, that for some patients, uh, these are going to be absolutely life-saving. I think the rapid heme panel is an exceptional example of the kind of innovation uh, that we see uh, consistently across the Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's Cancer Center. Obviously, one key thing is to have a diverse group of people uh, with the skill sets uh, that can uh, produce this kind of a test. You need, you need pathologists, you need uh, informed oncologists, uh, you need people uh, in basic science laboratories who are interested in clinical translation, uh, uh, who can also uh, work together well as a team. In addition to um, just getting the diagnosis right, Another added value, which I think we're going to be expanding upon as we add tests in the Center for Advanced Molecular Diagnosis, is um, our ability to increasingly identify the specific molecular lesions that are driving that particular patient's cancer, uh, which increasingly as we go forward is going to enable uh, precision cancer medicine and precision cancer therapeutics.